Well, not not that quality of clothing. No, you certainly see saris and different outfits to what we're used to, but um, the quality of the clothes up there was was great. I'm going to buy something like this for your wife. To marry. I don't know what size she is, so it might be a bit hard. But uh, yeah, I think it'll look good. Yeah, it'll be different. Thank you. Okay. Only Ritu Berry would come up with an idea like this. See, she is inspiring for me because she just comes up with these mad ideas and then she disappears right till the whole thing is executed. <laughs> till next year. And, um, and that's really how it happened. I mean, she just uh, said, we're going to have the mother of all shows. And it had, it was something with a difference because it's what the market requires. Normally what you have in a show is something that you may not be able to wear. This is something that you could readily pick off right here. And I thought it was beautiful. What does it feel? What, what makes Ritu Berry special? Ritu Berry, I'll tell you, really, you want to know? She was my student and that's why she makes, she's just that much more special for me. What about, uh, you come up with uh, great audio and great effects, how do, how do you manage to do well, that? We're very good with audio, I'm very good with audio. <laughs> She inspires me in the sense that, you know, because she was my student and I think she's extremely talented, because she knows what it is to be a commercial designer and I think unfortunately most of us designers in India have a very idealistic way of looking at uh, things and, and fashion. So uh, the fact that she has a pulse on the market and she knows uh, exactly what sells regardless of whether people like it or not, the fact is that she has a market uh, that buys and that is the most important thing. That's the talent of a designer. What do you feel? Fabulous. <laughs> I feel like... The girls look beautiful, so that's important. I felt like I was married yeah. and I just felt like this, you know, fantasy happening out there. You want to wear that for your marriage? Oh. I'd love. <laughs> Believe me, if I got married tomorrow, I'd wear it instantly. Thank you very much. Okay. How did you come up with this idea? I... It was a completely inspired show. I wanted to do... I always enjoy doing clothes for a bride. And I've been doing lots of trousseaus and being the wedding season I decided to do a collection that was completely a wedding collection which took you through the different occasions that a traditional Indian wedding goes through like the mehndi, sangeet, cocktails. And the whole concept behind this was to show uh, clothes for all kinds of uh, family members. I mean whether you're a friend of the bride or the father or the bride yourself. And uh, it was clothes for all kinds of people. How long did it take from uh, conception to coming on stage? It took me a long time. But when I, when I saw it on stage, it, it was magical. It was exactly how I, I dreamt of it. And it was... Uh, actually, I've enjoyed every moment of this collection, right? From the concept to the emotions behind it, from the people who were involved in the show, to the presentation. And I truly enjoyed watching it myself. Are you planning to take it abroad, this whole show? I would love to. I would love to work at taking it. I'd like as many people to see this as possible, really. French have been bowled over by your uh, collection now. What, what is their response today? I think they loved it and they, they want me to uh, take it to France and show it to uh, the French. Let's see what happens, really. I'd love to do it. What, what next after this? I don't know. <laughs> you don't plan? Anything. I don't know, yeah, nothing. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.